big fan of uh, active resistance versus passive resistance. Active resistance is I define like swimming paddles. You have a swim paddle, you have a really big blade. You don't change one variable, or you only change one variable at a time. A lot of people put noodles to drag in a boat or bungees and stuff like that. That's passive resistance creating more drag. You're not really teaching yourself how to explode with more power. You're just making yourself work a lot more. You don't really learn how to go fast with resistance. So I define active resistance as either using a slower, wider boat, a bigger paddle, hard upwind or something like that. But passive resistance teaches you how to paddle slower. So if you can have pass active resistance and still go just as fast or faster, then you know you're improving. That's just my personal philosophy about building power. In any sport, the more power you have, assuming you have the endurance as well, you will go faster. Uh, all else being equal, water knowledge, ability to read the water, if you have more power and can be sustained for a longer amount of time, which is why I like to train with a bigger paddle, what I call active resistance, you get better faster. So a lot of people just want to do passive resistance. Nothing wrong with that, you know. Um, that's a just a pure resistance, but doesn't really build strength. You're just stopping it. So understand the difference. I'm very relaxed. Relaxed arms. Steering blade, it's good. Oh shit, it's sticky like hell. Oh my god. I feel like I'm working a pizza parlor. This bug is so big. <laughs> <laughs> 